Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a walk through the new SkySuv retaining wall software. So we've recent, recently released it to the platform and if you go to the dashboard and scroll down you'll find retaining wall design module. So you can just click on that and it'll start up an instance and you'll just start with a basic wall as the default. Now let's just walk through the interface here to start with. We just start with a 2D uh, model of our retaining wall and then down here you've got a few controls for the rendering so we can turn it into a 3d view and this goes into a perspective mode and then you can just flick it back if you'd prefer to work in 2d now there's a few other tools here like taking a screenshot or measuring so say if we did two nodes here we can click two of these uh, nodes of interest and get some measurements you've also got a clear button here to remove that measurement so on the left here is our control panel. And if you're familiar with S3D already, then this is probably looking quite familiar. So you can go through the different elements of the wall. So say the stem, and we can increase the offset from the toe. So you can see as we increase this, it moves back. You can also increase width and height. Then we've got the footing itself. So this element down here, we can increase the base thickness, we can increase its width or decrease. We've also got materials, and the way the materials work here is sort of like the sections if you're familiar with Structural 3D. So what we're doing here is just defining uh, a soil type. So soil type of one, we can just give it a name of medium clay. And then down here, we can choose a color for it. We can give it some properties. There's also some advanced options such as cohesion, allowable bearing pressure and your uh, friction coefficient. So once you've created these uh, different soil types, you can then assign them to different areas. And the way that we look at uh, this wall is we've sort of divided it into three sections of soil. So from here, this is the passive zone. And then down the bottom here is the substructure zone. And then this area over here is the active zone. So if we have a look at layers, you can look at those three zones here and you can choose which one uh, you want to change. So if we just went to passive, for example, and changed its soil type to one, that kind of shows you that that's the passive zone, that's the substructure zone, and this is the active zone. Now you can choose the layer height. So if we change this here, you'll see the passive zone goes larger. Uh, again, like we just did, you can change the type. Now, the next thing that we would probably look at is just the loads. So you can just add a, a surcharge load to the active soil zone over here. So you just put a negative 10 because we're considering uh, here that up would be positive. So negative 10 will give us a UDL going down. Now this is all acting over a unit width of say in my case here, I'm in meters. So this would be a one meter length of wall. So this here is actually going to be more like a pressure acting over that one meter, but uh, the graphics just show it as a UDL. So that's about it for the control panel here. You've also got uh, some settings you can click up here or down here where you can adjust your units uh, into something that you'd prefer to work with and you can then save it as the default. So next time it launches, it will stay in those units. So once we've created our wall, we can just hit analyze over here and that'll take a moment to run. And what we're going to get is just a basic summary of the three main things that we're looking for. So we've got here overturning, sliding and bearing, which you can see here for bearing it failed. And that's because the factor of safety that was calculated didn't exceed the recommended factor of safety. Now we've put recommended ones here uh, in case you're not sure what you want to use, but if you know what you want to use, then uh, in that case, these might not be of interest to you. Uh, and then just down here, we've got some basic summaries of those forces. So resisting moments, overturning moments, same for sliding, and then also some bearing. Now, if you go into preview report, it's going to generate a detailed report, which again is uh, typical in the SkySiv software suite and we try to show you everything that is being worked out to come to this conclusion. So we've got a screenshot here of the wall and then you've got sort of just tables of all the data that has been collected from your input and then 
the equations that we use to determine the results. So you'll also have some references down here. We're starting with just uh, the ACI handbook and with future or in future, we're going to be trying to add as many of these as possible. So you'll find a few areas throughout the software where it's uh, asking you to provide feedback and would love to hear it from you because this will ultimately drive uh, the next few months or uh, even years of development for this software. So feel free to uh, let us know what you want to see in it and all the extra features that you need in here. And that will definitely contribute to where this all is heading. So down the bottom there, you can also just download the PDF or you can also download it as an HTML document. So once this opens here, you'll see that it, it uh, provides us with a, a nice uh, PDF that we can then uh, add to our design calculations for the project. So that's about it for the software. Um, like I said, please do share your feedback with us in what you'd like to see. Um, it's still in the early stages, but it's going to be a very promising software and it's already gaining quite a bit of popularity. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next one.